Hey, guess who's sick again? Uh, same person who doesn't feel like doing an intro. So here's some salt and here's a banana. You figure out the rest. I'm so quirky, quirky intro, yay! <laughs> I made videos about cheap drawing resources before, but people still keep asking me what sort of pens I use or what sort of paper. So I thought let's just make another video about really cheap drawing stuff. And let us start with this. The Dutch call it stool. Uh, basically it's sort of a marzipan filled bread that you buy for holidays, Christmas or now for Easter as well. I like it very much. And you automatically have this in your house, which means you automatically have nice cardboard. Cardboard like this that you can draw on. Uh, and why am I going with cardboard? Because that already looks fancier. You already have a nice brownish or grayish color value to your paper and if you bring in some white it's gonna look really fancy and not cheap at all. Another cardboard that is cheap and you guys know that I'm using it, packaging cardboard. This is a bit more interesting because uh, it can be a little bit wonky, wobbly depending on what side of packaging cardboard it is but it's also nicer and darker in color so it's really fun to draw on as well. All right let's talk about the tools now. This is one of the things that people always ask about where I got my, what sort of uh, fine liner I'm using. It is this, again, I talked about this. Hema is a convenience store here in the Netherlands and this costs like two euros for 12 pence. So really one of the cheapest things that you can buy in a store. Another cheap store we have here in the Netherlands is called Action and there you can buy these. These are called twin markers and right now they cost one euro nine cent for four pieces. So that is like 30 something euros or even less. No, it is three times four. Yeah, it's 20 something. So it's 20 something euros per marker, which is ridiculous. Are they good? Not particularly. They are very oversaturated and the colors uh, never match with what actually in the thing, but for 20 something sets you have a marker that is going to last you for a while uh, and you can just go by one color you can still combine them and you can still do something you can see me quite often uh, or do we have something so here for example I'm testing out what sort of colors I have just because I am a cheapskate and I always buy the cheapest stuff and I just have this uh, let me bring it closer uh, where you can't see anything. There you go. I just have this habit of testing whatever I'm going to use to see what the actual colors are. Another option are these uh, aqua markers also from um, Action and these are 90 cents or one euro a pop as well. So this is about 30 cents. These I don't quite understand yet, but we're going to test it today. These are watercolor markers. But yeah, still very cheap. And then the only expensive thing that I'm using, expensive, would be this uh, pastel pit white pencil from Faber-Castell. This is two euros from the shop where I bought it from, but you can get it cheaper as well. For example, I just did a quick search on Amazon. You can get 12 white pencils for $10. Uh, you can get five or six, probably a little bit higher quality. It's also recommended by Amazon. So there is cheaper options than this uh, Faber-Castell one. But with that, let us get started with the drawing and you don't need my face anymore. I know what you're gonna say, Robert, that's a deluxe package, that's expensive. No, no, it's not. We bought it on sale and also we bought it from Lidl. So don't you worry about it. I've been replaying the Mass Effect trilogy for the nth time, so we are going to draw a rover type of sketch because planetary exploration is best done with one of these multi-wheeled rovers. I also wanted to make sure to say this, uh, of course you don't need carton or brown paper for drawing. I usually buy a stack of printer paper like A3 or A4, this is a size for Europeans, and draw on those a lot. They are cheaper than sketchbooks and you get a lot more sheets of paper than you would get with a sketchbook. My whole point with this video is that you don't fall into the trap of having to only use some specific, hard to find or expensive drawing supplies. You can use whatever is at your disposal while you are on your learning journey. And in my case, it was some sort of brown packaging paper. Oh, 
Okay. So that's what we have so far. It's a nice little rover somewhere on a different planet. I did most of the shading with the fine liner that is uh, brand new because I just took it out of the packaging before I started the video. So it's a bit thicker. Usually I like these to be semi empty because then the lines can be a bit more like you see here. Uh, one sort of mistake, I don't know how much the, the camera picks up, but because of the grease in my fingers, there is a little bit of dirtiness here. It happens with both types of paper. I guess I'm just a greasy guy. That's why I halfway through, I remember to wear this. And now I am going to come in with this uh, white pencil and add a little highlight here and there where I think it's needed. I know the white is barely visible here. Thank you, beautiful sunny day. Uh, there will be another sketching part in the video where I draw on darker paper during a less sunny day. So you will see what white does on dark paper. After testing, what I want to use here, I would rather use the watercolors because they're a little bit more subdued, I would say. But I want to see how they interact because I know that this it is very cheap, I'm very happy for that, but it is not water resistant. So I am going to test some of these lines here. Let's see how they react to my water markers. You don't have to draw something complicated for a test. I just wanted to see what it does with some cross hatching and I like to show off my weird box drawing skills. Does not work. It uh, really washes out this ink, so hey, we learned something, <laughs> we're going to use the other ones. And I know that these, these markers should work fine. Yeah, I think that will work much better if I just uh, stick to that, because then we can come back with our white. Yeah, this, uh, this works a bit better. So we're not gonna use the watercolors. We're going to stick to this one thing here and I can use my fine liner to add some more shading. So let's start with the shading then. One thing that I'm missing is some, is some shadows and sadly I took my twin markers and left it in Romania in case I want to go and visit again. So I'm gonna go and use some of my Ruh markers. So I know I've been talking about twin markers, the super cheap 30 cents a piece, and I switched to a hoo hoo, but these are still, uh, these are from the 320 set that I reviewed not so long ago, and that's like 240 bucks. So these are still 70 cents a piece. So still in the relatively cheap uh, category, but as I said, at least these are not super uh, saturated. So if you just get a couple, you still are off pretty well and uh, you have something that you can work with. Uh, yeah, as, as an industrial designer, I just need my grays. I can't function without them. So that's why I had to switch to these. And then finally, to top things off, I like to use my gel pen. This one, I think is also two euros. I'm pretty sure you could buy some cheaper ones as well, 
this is not a necessity. I just like to add some extra details with this and let things pop a little bit here and there. You can either keep this or yeah, lose it and just stick with what you are. I think this is already a presentable drawing, but I just wanna bring some extra little detail here and there. And finally, I decided to do another quick sketch, this time on a darker carton paper, so you guys can see the contrast and cool details that you can have on a darker value paper with the use of white pencil. Uh, this cardboard is from Amazon Delivery and the tools I used were the same Hema pen, uh, one light gray, a dark gray and a black from my Ohuhu set. Uh, once again, I know I was talking about cheaper markers before, but I do not have those with me. But this should just show you that it doesn't matter what you use, you can get pretty good results. Uh, the three Ohuhu markers would add up to around two euros, I guess. Uh, with the twin markers, you would be around one euro. So either way, you are off cheap. And yes, I could make many more videos about how you can keep your art endeavors cheap and I probably will because I'm a big believer of not having to pay uh, out of your nose for art supplies so yeah prepare for that. I would love to hear what you think of the video if you found something that is useful or something that is inspiring you in the right direction. I would also love to hear what sort of cheap supplies you are using maybe also together with the country you're on so if other people are in the same country as you are they might be able to get the same supplies that you do if they're nice and cheap. So make sure to leave a comment with all those interesting things. Also at this point, please note how I don't even know how to write cheap correctly. That is why I am drawing and not writing most of the time. Uh, if you want to see the drawing part of the video in real time, I will upload one or both of the sketching process videos to my Patreon accompanied by some chill music. The link to my Patreon and other ways to support me you can find in the description down below. But as per usual, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye bye!